Hello everyone, this is Spotman. and this is a summary of Act 4, Scene 2 and Act 5, Scene 1, so let's begin. In Act 4, Scene 2, Brutus waits for Cassius in the Rebel Bank, and Lucius com comments that Cassius is not as open and friendly as he was once. Brutus agrees that Cassius is cooling uh, in his friendship, and Cassius arrives and directly accuses Brutus of wronging him. To hide the robe from the man, Brutus invites him into his tent. The argument escalates and political accusations become personal insults until Cassius offers Brutus his dagger to kill him with. Brutus backs down and they embrace as friends again. Brutus then reveals why he is angry. Push, his wife is dead. She has killed herself, impatient of my absence and grief that young Octavius with Mark Antony have made themselves so strong, not wanting to talk more of Portia. Brutus changes the subject to battle plans and Cassius suggests uh, they wait for Antony and Octavius' army to reach them so they'll be tired when they fight. Brutus disagrees, wanting to meet them in Philippi. Cassius is overruled when Brutus left alone. He is visited by Caesar's ghost. Art though some god, some angel, or some devil that makes my blood cold and my hair so stare, to stare. Claiming to be Brutus' evil spirits, the ghost says that they will meet again in Philippi, and this is foreshadowing of uh, the conspirators' loss in Philippi. And Brutus wakes his men up, but they all deny crying uh, out or seeing anything. Brutus sends word to Kai. Cassius to be ready to march ahead of him next morning. Again, we see another person uh, dismissing an omen that will lead to his demise. In Act 5, Scene 1, at Philippi, Octavius and Antony briefly disagree over tactics, and Brutus and Cassius enter with their armies. And the two sets of leaders exchange insults. When your vile daggers hacked one another in the sides of Caesar, you showed your teeth like uh, apes and found like hounds. Antony, this is Antony said this. And then Octavius and Antony lead their armies away, away from Brutus. Cassius reveals his concern over certain omens he saw on their march, despite never believing in them before. Uh, Brutus returns, and and he and Cassius discuss what will happen if they lose. Brutus vows he will not be taken captive to Rome. The two friends bid farewell to each other and go to, into battle forever and forever. Farewell, Cassius. If we do meet again, why we shall smile. If not, well then, this parting was well made. I hope this was useful and thank you for listening.